it's Candace and come here. Say hi. Pet fighting Mooney. Hi. High five me. Hey, kiss me. There you go. Lordy, gotta have his biscuits. So we are going to do a shirt haul video. Um I've had shirts piling up for a while and I just I haven't had time to do any videos. So I figured I better get on it because sooner I do the video, sooner I get to throw them in the laundry. They get washed and they get put away. So that's how that's gonna go. So let's get started. I'm gonna start uh let's see. Do, do, do. Alright, so the first one I have, T Public was having a huge sale. Um <coughs> when they have new designs that come on the site, um when they're released the first few days you can get them for fourteen dollars. But um when they're not on sale they can be twenty plus. And um every now and then they have a site wide sale which they did and I think I had a coupon code as well so um I grabbed some shirts by uh 3R from one of my favorite artists. He did the same chip skeleton he did um The Sam from Trick or Treat that I won one of the shirts, uh, not last Halloween, but Halloween before 2015, I guess that's what it was. Anyway, um, so I want to grab three of his shirts that, <coughs> um, I had loved for a while, and I missed one of them on T-Villain, so, um, I saw it on Tee Public, so I had to snag it, but I'll get to that in a minute. I found this one merely by accident, um, and it involves two of my favorite TV series, The Big Bang Theory and Scooby-Doo. This crossover mashup, what do you want to call it, was awesome. And here we go. It is The Big Bang Theory cast as the Scooby-Doo gang. So that was really awesome. I love it. Here's that one. Off to the laundry. Um, another Big Bang Theory shirt <coughs> I have wanted for a couple years. Um, and I don't even know who the artist is. Um, but it's the design is modeled after the um, and I can't remember the name of the album. I used to have the CD or something of um, the Gorillas, but this shirt's uh, a mashup of Big Bang Theory and that Gorilla album, Gorilla's album. So um, that's it. It's a physicist. Love my Big Bang. And <laughs> when I got that shirt, um,. It was very near that that one. Um, there was a similar shirt. I don't know if the same artist. I'm assuming it is. Um, but they had that same shirt for a Clockwork Orange. And y'all know how I love Clockwork Orange. Look, Joe. Look. You need the shirt. So this is really awesome. I can't wait to wear it. Laundry. So the next thing we have are the shirts from Chip Skellington. And the first one is a crossover of slasher icons and minions. Both of which I love. So we got Pennywise and Pinhead and Freddy and Jason. The shirt is just so cute. Audrey. The next one, I love this shirt. Wow. 
We've got Frankenstein's Monster and the Bride of Frankenstein. And I just noticed something earlier about this shirt. I know they're redoing some of the Universal Monsters films. And um, my last I heard, I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but um, Angelina wanted to do Bride of Frankenstein. Does it not look kind of like her? And Frankenstein's monster looks kind of like Angelina's goofy looking brother. The one that she caused the controversy with years and years ago about her making out with her brother. Anyway, it, it kind of looks like them. And it's kind of weird, but it's a beautiful design and I love it. So the one I had missed at T-Villain that I really wanted, and I'm excited to finally have, is the Cinnabites from Hellraiser. I wish I'd gotten this shirt before I went to Days of the Dead. This would have been an awesome shirt to wear with uh, my photos with uh, Doug Bradley. But this shirt's really awesome. I just wish I would have had the female Cinnabite, but, um, well, girls always get left out. Now, but this is an awesome shirt, and these, again, these last three shirts are by, um, artist Chip Skellington. He's, um, does a Skellington, keep wanting to call him, uh, Jack Skellington, but he does really, really incredible art, so definitely check him out. The next thing I got was from Tear Threads. Um, they've been doing some excellent shirts lately. Um, like this one, one of my favorite final girls. Do, 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 do. Um, I think I, uh, and I just got one shirt and I think I have another one or two shirts coming from them. I can't remember. They've just been doing some excellent shirts. So when I saw this one, I had to have it. And I wish I would have had this for Days of the Dead Atlanta too. And I had my photo ops with the Stranger uh, Things kids. But this is a crossover between them and Kiss. Because hey, Stranger Things is um, set in the 1980s. And Kiss's um, heyday was, you know, in the late 70s, early 80s. So... Um, I love this crossover, and I know Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons are douchebags, but Kiss was a, a huge band that I grew up listening to in the 70s, so, um, I love this shirt. I think it's really well done. Yeah. So, awesome shirt, Terror Threads. I'm loving these shirts that you guys are putting out. They're awesome. Two thumbs up. So our last package from Fried Rags. Um, well, before I do that, I also have, this is from their Tea of Mystery sale. I had gotten the Halloween one, the ugly Christmas sweater sweatshirt, which I've been wearing the hell out of this winter. But um, someone sent me this trick or treat Sam one which is gorgeous and license look at him so, uh. all right so, let's start this not technically sure but it got these go with the package somewhat um I had gotten these one of the Scream shirts because uh, Fright Rags have been doing some really um, big sales lately. So they released these um, Scream Ghost Face socks. So I got a pair of those. Which leads me into these socks. These are, um, they just released these and these weren't supposed to ship until uh, later this month um, in late March, but I was surprised that they came so soon. But these are Necronomicon Evil Dead socks. Did you get these, Joe? Those are so badass. I love these. And with that, I also got 
this little Necronomicon notebook done by Fright Rags. Um, we got one that's a little bit smaller, maybe about this size. Oh, my back hurts. In a horror block a couple years ago. And I love that thing. And I don't know what I did with it. Um, and I remember packing it when I moved. So it's in some box somewhere. But um, I had wanted a couple more. So I am so glad that uh, Fright Rags did these. They're a little bit bigger than the ones in Horror Block. Just, and I love little notebooks, so that's a win with me. So on to the shirt. This shirt matches the socks and notebook. They have a new Evil Dead collection. And I only got two of the three shirts, but I'm kind of... Oh, this one's got a back on it, too. Um, I'm kind of regretting now that I didn't get the third shirt, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a reprint eventually. But to go with the socks and notebook. At this Necronomicon shirt. And then I didn't know it had a, um, anything on the back. I don't recall Fright Rags doing any shirts uh, in the last two years. I've been buying from them that had backs on it. Except for one recently that I missed out on. That's really cool. Then this one, I just absolutely love the style of this. Almost like an old comic book. That's really, really cool. Yeah. So I think that is it for our shirt haul video. Um. Pretty cool. Um, check out um, Fright Rags and Tear Threads and Cavity Colors and Tee Public. Those are some of my favorite sites to find. Some of the best horror shirts. And uh, but companies like Fright Rags, Cavity Colors, and Tear Threads are smaller companies. And I just really love. Um, love the the smaller companies like that um and customer service is incredible um they're companies that treat you you know like a friend not a customer so that's why i'm absolutely um love supporting small business fellow artists and companies like that that treat you like family and not customers that's really cool it's really important so um those are definitely some companies to check out um but that is it for us what about you? Want to say bye-bye? Come here. Up. Can't get your biscuit. Come here. Gonna be one of those days making videos. My biscuit. Here it is. Come get it. You're still falling for that old trick. Where'd it go? Don't knock over the lamp. Here you go. Here's a biscuit. Come get it. I tricked you. Well, we turn away. Sit. Say, so be sure to like, <laughs> comment, subscribe. That's it for us. Peace.